there. Welcome to Moving On TV. Um, okay, today we decided to do a question and answer program. Now, I've done a huge amount of research around what's going on in the world. I've been doing it for years. Um, I've got loads of mentors and I feel that I'm equipped here on Moving On TV to answer questions okay. from the ordinary in order to help enlighten. So Martin is going to act as the, the public now. He's going to ask me simple, short questions that we've written out, and I will try to give short, concise answers in order to help you, I hope. And please do your research. Don't take anything as written. Thank you. Okay. So. Good morning. Um, what, what is your interpretation of uh, this virus, basically? What, what, what is it in effect in, in your view? Okay. In my view, and a lot of research that I've done and lots of other people, um, I feel from what I've come down, the conclusions I've come to, is that there were two different scenarios here. I believe that the WHO, the World Health Organization, took on a man called Lieber, and they released a really, really dangerous biochemical warfare weapon against the Chinese, because the Chinese were starting to revolt in the streets. They were starting to learn how to meditate. They wanted a better life. So they released this in a, in a nutshell in order to get them off the streets and in order to depopulate quite a lot of them. It was very serious and people were dropping dead in the streets. And that is not the virus that came to us. I believe that something else was released as well at the same time in order to create what was created in the world. And it wasn't as serious. It wasn't as serious. Um, it was part of the Corona um, group and it was a flu bug, basically a flu bug. And that's what I think is, is, the, first, is the answer to the first question. Why lockdown? Why lockdown? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, again, there's a few scenarios here. Um, we have to look at what's been happening with our world. If you look at one scenario, our world has been getting to a point where it's been ruled by the 1%. And again, do your research. Please go out and do your research. That 1% wanted to depopulate us. There's lots of evidence on the internet. You can hear the talks. Um, they wanted to make a lot of money from us. Um, so, but the lockdown, coming back to the lockdown, there's a couple of answers to that. So the first scenario with lockdown was to see whether they could control us, whether they could actually do it. And they did it. They did it, okay? No one believed that anything could actually lock us down and, and stop the world, but they did it, okay? Now, the second scenario is very positive, okay? We have to go back a bit um, because from my sources, mainly Charlie Ward, they were going to do a financial reset because things were getting so bad for the good of humanity in 2021. But when this happened, they grabbed it and they thought, wow, let's do it, let's do it now. So we locked down people to give us a chance to do the financial reset, knowing that we'd be able to arrest all these people that have been using sex slaving, uh, they've been enslaving children, they've been killing children, they, everything that's going on, all the not good stuff, the awful stuff that's going on in our world. This is a chance to lock everyone down, to keep the airports closed so that we can do our work and we can shift the way the world economy is. We can create a new economy and we can arrest all those people. Um, and there are actually codes coming out for you to understand what it means when someone has got the virus. Is, would you say this virus then is contagious? Um, no. <laughs> this virus is not contagious. It never was contagious. And the reason I know that is because the government themselves released papers in March before the lockdown to say that they had degraded, and you can read it on the government website. If you want to contact me, I'll put the link. Um, it says on this 
uh, on these papers that this is being degraded to a non-contagious virus, okay? No, it is not contagious, okay? Thank you.